Dark Souls. Okay, Wounds 101. This is Wound Week 4, and how I decided to do it, I decided to do it this way so that way I can backtrack over just to give you reminders of what we have did in the past three weeks. And this is Odin. Odin is the reason that we have the runes. He hung on the tree Yggdrasil for nine nights, pierced by his own spear as an offering to him to himself. And during that time he saw the runes beneath the tree. So I think I personally think it's important to give people the spirits or the gods or goddesses or deities whatever you want to call them today I personally think it's a stepping stone is actually awesome and good to give thanks to who we are giving these gifts from so okay the first week recap was given to us by Miss Sunshine Morning Ray. This um, PowerPoint has hyperlinks in it, so I will post it as a file in the group in at the end of the um, 24 weeks. I will, you know, put it all together and put it in the group as well, so that way people can have reminders and. The first one that we did was the Rizaz. And is what it looks like. And it literally means thorn. And it's Thu Re Zaz. Okay. Thorn. Now the second little section here that I have put out is actually from a um poem that was given to me. Um so if you want the poem, I will post the poem. So and it's a battle room. And it, okay. I saw a lot of people getting confused on this, on this room as well. But um, how I see it is that this room literally means battle, warrior, you know, soldier. But you are a part of the soldier the warriors you see what I'm saying so if you told this rune around you were effectively putting yourself in battle mode all week <laughs> so yeah all right week two amethyst moon was the one who brought us Degas and that is Degas and another little tip that I've learned with learning how to pronounce them is that if they have an AS, the, it it kind of it comes off as OZ. If they have an AZ, it comes off as OZ. Sorry, yeah. So this is Dagos, and it literally means day. And that's the insert from the poem. But okay. This is all about change. Whether you accept that change or reject it is all up to you. But this rune brings on change. It brings on a way to help yourself during the time of change. Or it can actually help you accept the change that you are blind to. Okay, number three. The witchy dude. Awesome little kid. Okay, and he brought us Esau. Esau. Little meaning ice. And it's a time of reflection. It's a time of um, standing still, focusing your your intent on your life. Just a time to think about where you're going, how you're going to get there, just things like that. Okay, now week four. Are you ready? Are we ready? 
Vunya! Yay! M is Vun, V W, Vun Yo. And it literally means joy. It's the insert. And happiness is a double edged sword. Now, it means joy, it means happiness. But the thing about Vunyo is that you can sort of get content with that happiness and kind of get stuck so much in that happiness that you're not realizing that your life is moving forward or you're not realizing that you need to move forward so that's why I say happiness is a double edged sword now I won't give you any correspondence because I leave that up to the person who is doing learning the runs because correspondence people don't seem to know or understand that correspondence are very personal so if I might feel that Bruno color is pink somebody else might feel like it's blue because blue means joy to them so correspondence are very personal um, so I hope to hear and learn a lot from Vunyo this week so thumbs up you guys and I hope that you guys have an excellent week with Vunyo and this is the websites that I use I just want to show you guys the websites that I use so again I along with this video being put up in the group tonight I will also put it put the actual file in the um, files section of the group. 